I don't want to waste time telling you that a dunder init file is used to turn a normal directory into a super directory, or in technical terms, a package. The question is, do we still need it in our Python projects, or can we skip it? Okay, let's experiment. We have this simple project structure and we don't have any init file anywhere in the hierarchy to consider it as a Python package. So, the question is, can we still import this x.py module? Now, we are in the main file and importing the module from the player directory. All right, let's test it. When we run this, we can see it actually worked. But how? And that's too without the init file. That's because Python treated this directory as a namespace package. Now, what's this? Since version 3.3, Python supports namespace packages thanks to pep420. This pep allows creating a package without an init file. So, in Python, we have namespace packages and regular packages, those with init files. So, does that mean we don't require init files to create packages in Python? Well, we can create packages with init files too, which is the most legit method. So, this leaves us with a choice. When namespace packages can be used, we had this project structure in the beginning. Here we have two separate packages, but they share a common namespace, interface. So, this lets us create different packages that reside in separate locations, but still appear to be part of a common structure. So, what about regular packages? These are self-contained packages that live in their own directory and include an init file to signal Python that this directory is a standalone package with its own modules. If I modify previously created directory structures like this, Directions and character become regular packages, and they don't need to share their namespace with other directories, whereas interface is still considered a namespace package. In my opinion, 99% of the time, we require a regular package, which can avoid weird import errors if structured neatly. Also, Python has several tools that require init files to work properly. But it's democracy, you know, you are allowed to make your own choices. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you prefer and hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more Python goodness.